to get a resource consent, and I congratulate them on raising their standards. Question number nine, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Is it still his position that the test for com his confidence in the Honourable John Banks was that he complied with the law? If so, on what basis does he believe that Mr Banks complied with the law with respect to anonymous donations under the Local Electoral Act 2001? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, yes, because Mr Banks has given me an assurance that he met the law. The police statement quite clearly said that there was insufficient evidence that there's a statute of limitations and he's complied with the law. Grant Roberts. Supplementary question. Does he accept the view of the police, as outlined in paragraph 38 of the Police Criminal Assessment Report on John Banks, that Mr Banks' return was, quote, wrong in content as the donations for SkyCity.com and a withheld name should not have been recorded as anonymous? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I'm not in a position to offer a view on that, but what I can say is that, as I saw reported in the New Zealand Herald, p police concluded that the report return was false but could not prove Mr Banks had known that when he signed it. So, question. <laughs> Does he further accept the view of the police in paragraph 39 of the police report that the fact that the donations should not have been recorded as anonymous was the reason that this was a false return by Mr Banks? The right Mr. Speaker, I can't Mr. offer a view on that, but what I can say is that the police statement quite clearly says that it established that the return was complied, uh, compiled by a campaign volunteer who assured Mr Banks it was accurate before Mr Banks signed it. I also say that I've seen from the police report uh, that they believe there was insufficient evidence and, as the New Zealand Herald has said, uh, not enough information to prove that Mr Banks would have known it was false. Grant Robertson. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. What police report was the Prime Minister referring to in that answer? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. The one the member was talking about. Uh, Grant Mr. Robertson. Speaker, um, is the Prime Minister now telling the House that he has read the police report? And if so, will he now not conclude that Mr Banks was found by the police to have breached the law, therefore he didn't comply for, with the law, therefore he should no longer have the confidence of the Prime Minister? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. No. <laughs> Question number 10, Kanwaljeet Singh Bakshi. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Civil Defence and ask what progress has the government made in encouraging New Zealanders to participate?